So here we are at Nature's Nectar and I'm picking up two two-pound hives of bees. We're just going to put them in the car. And the bees made it to their final destination where they're going to be hived in Inverell Heights. Here is T. McDee's new bee yard. We have two new hive boxes. One up in the corner is the old one from last year which is doing very well. Here's the can of sugar water. You can see the bees are huddled around it eating. There are some dead bees, but that was probably caused by the transport coming all the way from California. They probably died of stress, and when we put them in the hive, the bees will clean out the dead bees. First, what we're going to do is spray with sugar water all the bees. You can use a bigger sprayer. This is a little small, but we want to just coat the bees. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this can out. This is what they've been eating. There's sugar water in here. Spray a little more sugar water in here. And I've had these all set up. And we'll just take these covers off. This is where I'll put the fumagellin when I put it all back together. I'll take out about four frames. These were used by other bees so they don't have a lot of comb to build right away. Here's the queen in her little queen cage. And she's surrounded by bees. They're feeding her and cleaning her. I'm just going to shake this off. Here she is. You can see her. She looks very healthy. And then I'm going to put this in my pocket so I don't lose her. What we do is we bonk them down in here. That's two pounds of bees. And the bees that I can't get out, I'm just gonna set aside and they will find the hive. I'm gonna take my hive tool Move them away, they're very sticky. They're climbing up the sides of the comb that's already built. Looks like they're really happy to be in a hive. I'm going to take this cork out, make sure that she doesn't come out this way. I'm going to wait till she turns around. And then I'm going to stuff this little marshmallow in here. And then the bees will eat that marshmallow out and then she will be slowly introduced into the hive. So I'm going to put her upside down and slide a couple of these over here. And so they hold it in place. We'll put a pollen patty on here so the bees can eat the pollen. We're going to put our inner cover on and our fumagellin. I hold this bucket upside down and let the water drain out until it has a suction. Then we'll put a box around the fumagellin sugar water and put the outer cover on. And we'll do the other hive. Here's our second package. I'm just going to spray them a little bit more. They're not very aggressive, that's why I'm not wearing gloves. They're not interested in stinging right now because they're so stressed out about where they are. These hive tools are pretty handy. Get a little spray. That is so interesting how they're protecting her and feeding her. I've got her in my pocket now and we're going to move these in. Give them a good bonk. Doesn't hurt them, they're just falling out. Wow, that's cool. And I'll set this in the front and they will know how to get to their hive. It's really interesting to see how they're already going to the comb. This is used comb. So I'm going to put the rest of these in. I just put the queen down there and the bees are already starting to feed her and make sure she's okay that in here and then the workers will eat that out. 
and then I'm going to put her in upside down. So on this one I put the pollen patty and the sugar water mixed with fumagellin. And as you can see the packages are almost empty. The bees that are outside of the hive will know their own queen. Each queen has a different scent, a different pheromone. So the queen will attract her own family of bee daughters and drones. There are dead bees here and I'm just going to scoop some of those out and we'll put our entrance reducer in there with the small side up. And those are the basics of putting bees into a hive. And there are also other ways of doing it, but this is the way that I have tried it.